Let's get started. Set default language when you first run Vendron. You will be required to activate the license. Enter the company token and click request. The company token can be retrieved from Vendron Cloud. If the request is success, the license key will be retrieved from Vendron Cloud. Tick to agree to these terms and conditions. Enter the username and password to start Vendron. Go to Configuration tab. In General Settings, set the auto login username and password to Q and Q to automatically log into Vendron. Click Auto Configuration in Serial Port Settings to auto configure COM port from all devices. Here shows the connection status of those devices. Go to Payment Settings, check whether the payment module is connected to the correct COM port. Click Register Payment Module. Here shows all the available payment module. Tick in use for the device that desired to be used. Click Currency Configuration. Set the country currency. You can set the display currency and decimal places to be display in operation mode. Next, go to Machine Settings. Make sure the COM port and your machine control plugin are connected correctly. Click the storage location to change the capacity of storage location if you want. Select the storage location that you want to modify, and then change the capacity of the selected storage location. Save the changes. The changes can be seen from Product Restock in System tab. The capacity of storage location 10 is changed from 8 to 10. Go to Product Settings. Click Configure Product Category. Click New to create the category of products such as drinks and snacks. Save the changes after done. The product category can also be configured from Vendron Cloud. Go to Operation Settings. You can choose to enable automatically start operation when boot up if you want to automatically run operation when start Vendron. Enable machine dispense checking. Before continuing to the next step, reboot your machine to apply those changes. Now, you're going to create product for sale in machine. It can also be created from Vendron Cloud as well. In System tab, select Product Manager. Click Add. Enter the unique name of product then click OK. Change the necessary information such as name, photo, price, cost, Category, Product Type, and Tick for Sale to be displayed during operation. Then save the changes. After done creating all products, click Product Restock. Go to Setup Mode. Click the storage location you wish to locate your product. You can choose to insert the product image. Then, go to Fill Mode. Restock the quantity of the product. Click Save and Exit after finished restocking. Finally, click Run Operation in System tab. The products will be displayed on the screen and you can start to purchase the product right now. To exit Operation screen, 
Quickly tap 4 times on the top left and right edges of the screen then enter the default password which is 2334 and click OK. You can change the default password in secret button area from operation settings in configuration tab. Thanks for watching the video and using Vendron.